Morning all. Uh, just going to have a two game match versus Chess Explain. Probably a very, very bad idea. Um, I've got my coffee here and I haven't, I haven't drunk it yet. And um, we're going to try and fit this in before bullets in, I think. Um, Alright, uh, King's Engine, I suppose. <clears throat> Morning after all, that's all stink with something. Fairly familiar. Ah, what about a B6 and Bishop B7 system? It has been played against me recently. Not not castling just yet, but uh But he castled Queenside, I think it was a bit knackered to castle Queenside. I'm not sure I want to castle Queenside. I just want to play for C five, like reinforced by these two pawns playing for C five. Try and create some dark square weaknesses, provoke D five from white. So playing for C five. <coughs> yeah, I'm I'm looking to um do one or two videos actually touching on alkyne and aesthetics because I think aesthetics play an important part in um chess evolution. Uh I don't know how it occurred to me today. Uh Well, actually, there was an intriguing comment last night in this film, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, about um, you know what, why was he a traitor? And he said there was an aesthetic reason behind it. It was quite interesting, and I started thinking about it. I think overnight <laughs> about the Evolution um, series. Anyway, so aesthetics, yeah. Um, I mean, I like the aesthetic look of this position. Is is there like aesthetics at work already in this in this game, just for stimulating some ideas like F4, Knight G4? Uh, exchange of dark square bishops, maybe knight g8, bishop h6. He's playing for f4, maybe. I could reroute the bishop here, bishop c8, um, if h3, h4. I could try for b5. Uh, just bespoke casting for a sec. <laughs> maybe bishop d7, queen b7, then, then I'm just going to postpone. Where is he casting? I need to find out that information. So we're both delaying casting here, quite amusingly. Okay. Now it might be safe to castle kingside. H5 is often a strategy for dark square grip anyway. I'm quite pleased with this position. A little bit pleased. A um, bit worried, okay, about the dark square bishop going. Can I use h8 for a rook though? Is that possible? If I use h8 for a rook. But I want to wait for f4. I don't really want to play h4. So I'll use that for a rook first. Um, can I try and subtly target to provoke b3? If that bishop moves, there's knight c4. Can I play queen d8 to e8? Or queen b7, b5? Actually, uh, actually, this is good. For being a bit knackered, I've got an, a one minute advantage in a five minute game. So. Okay, the knight on e5 is uh, aesthetic. <laughs> so, um, I mean, look at cars, you know, how they've evolved aesthetically. They just go from A to B, but it's aesthetics. Uh, and functionality, of course. Um, your minor functionality, you know, music on board or whatever. But have they evolved, like, aesthetically? Can I play knight g4 getting smashed? Bishop, that rerouting is handy here. Now, is e5 going to really smash me? That's the problem. Uh, knight takes, knight takes, or just hg, this is e5, so I've got to keep control, I think, of e5. So I think knight g4 here. It's a bit of a warring position because of e5. Um, yeah. So h3, or, and then knight h6, and then f5, and I might be getting smashed. Oh dear. Can I deprive the use of the e4 square if I play f5, get a disgusting um, bishop after e6? Yeah, I'll go for that. Because I want to stop f5 from white anyway. So if he plays e6, at least I've, I've deprived e4. Um, although the bishop maybe should go back here to go here to connect the rooks. If it goes back there, how am I going to connect the rooks without g5, bishop, g6? I can't move that bishop ever. Um okay. 
Actually, this is a chance for a PSAC D takes E, maybe. Just get the H file. If I play D takes E, takes, 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 takes. Bishop G4. I'm getting completely smashed. No Queen G4. So I'm playing Knight H6, which is probably the more sensible move, just to hold on a bit longer. I've got to move this bishop out of the way and protect e7 and connect the rooks. So I'm going to move it like this, just to keep the rooks connected. Also, knight g8 to f6 might be useful defensively. Connect the rooks, rook f8 to f6. I'm hoping he's knackered. Um, I'm going to ignore spectators. I'm hoping he's a bit knackered. Whoa! Okay, so if I take... Um, he's going to play for f5. If I get this, I don't know, try and get this hijack. The um, if I just take actually first, so I don't lose it even a pawn. He's going to play g5 and stuff my knight. I'm going to play knight g4 and he takes and then f5. I think I have to uh, take here, but I don't want to take for f5 reasons. So maybe just connect the rooks first, bishop b7. Try and minimize the damage. So knight g4 takes and then f5. At least he's blocked g5 of a pawn. So he's only got a minute left. If he blocks g5 of a pawn, f5. Well, I'm going to have to do that. Otherwise, the knights, again, the disconnected rook issue on knight g8. I can't get the knight out. So I'd rather like, lose a pawn here. If I can double up rooks. If I take with the pawn, then strike out with b5, or take with the pawn, gain the tempo, queen d8, I think, to try and play queen f8 on the f4. So I'm going to lose that pawn, but I get a strong queen on f5. 50 seconds. <clears throat> well, f4 is vulnerable now, I hope. So h2 is a decoy, just to get his king off. Um, I can't do anything with that bishop. Okay, so he's going to win a pawn for nothing here. Rook h5 and queen h8. Uh, qu queen, queen move. Is the queen on the diagonal useful? If I play queen takes here, he's going to try and exchange off queens, but I can go queen h8 and then back on the diagonal. Okay, there's no queen c3 just yet. So I'm going to play king g8, then on the diagonal, queen d4. 30 seconds to finish me off. Okay, I'm comfortably on the diagonal. With g5, though, you could play g5, quite cruel. Just trying to exchange things off. Oh dear, he's going to leave me a terrible ending. I, I can't do anything about uh, Queen F7. Uh oh. Can I win this uh, pawn? Or oh dear. I can. Oh no. Queen F7 is really strong. I don't want to be uh, mated. So if I take King G7, he's on that pawn, isn't he? That's really terrible. I've been put into Zogswang. <laughs> oh dear. 21 seconds. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh. I think B5 desperate, 17 seconds. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a squash. <laughs> oh. oh dear. That was terrible. <sighs> Had him on the pressure. And counterplay sucked out quite badly. <laughs> Have we got time for another game? Bullet zones on 10 minutes. Oh, just about. Uh, 
Okay. I'll let him take there, I think. I wanna play for D five, I think there. D five here. <clears throat> D5 here. He's stopping D5. Okay. I could still play for D5 here as a, I don't know, just to try and open the lines before they get locked up. I might give him C5 though. What about Bishop A3 anyway? If I play Bishop A3 and Queen B3, C5. It's asking for Knight C6 probably. Well, just d5 anyway here, just just to keep the lines open, because I've I've got some control over c5, so uh, I'll play it here. Maybe knight d4, strange off the light square bishops. Uh, well, knight d4 looks good after ed. Sort of dynamically. If I don't use all my time, we've got time for bullet zone. Eight minutes. <clears throat> I'm carefully thinking here. That's interesting. So I should have maybe. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'll try and get these lines open. This poor bishop is uh, stuffed. I play c5 here and then c4 if it takes. <clears throat> well, at least I haven't given him c5, but this bishop can go back on the diagonal. Maybe that's okay. Queen c3, bishop b2. If it takes, maybe e takes just to stop knight e4s or. Okay. It's so a bishop b2. Alright, is there a problem with uh, this position? What about knight g5 just to try and get into e6? Oh, the f3 actually, because knight e4 is a pain, probably. Oh, queen c2, is it really? Maybe not. Two minutes again. He's playing with me on the clock. All oh, right, I have to take there actually. The knights and pre. So if I protect c4 first, so I can play queen e3. And play knight f6. What about h3 here first? Anything else? <coughs> All right, this b file. Can I try and own it if I play rook b1? Do I need to play e3? This might be f3. Oh, I can't own it. Oh dear. Alright, I'll take here anyway. So I'm playing for rook b2 actually. I could try and contest that with rook b2. Alright, so a6 here. Takes, takes, check. Win c7. That looks dangerous. Um, otherwise, I think rook b6 is not going anywhere. What about rook b5? There's a6. So rook b3. Rook b3 might be key here. As queen comes out, oh, I might have to stop that. Queen f5. No, queen b8 is strong. So let's try this. So takes queen f5, queen b8, queen c7. I play for queen b2, try and get this b file. It's queen b5. Ah. Alright, I've got that b file. Can I try and get this bishop doing something? 
Bishop e3 for a moment. So it's a nice position. <sighs> Don't know how to improve it here. How would I improve this position? Queen a4, there's queen d7. Just the waiting move for a sec. Keep knight tight down to e4. Okay, there isn't g4, is there? It's too risky. Where is he going with his king? Ah! Okay, if I take then there's queen b8, so I think I'm gonna have to take, try and get in. There's d5 though coming out, queen a7. I, I can't see anything else though. It's queen a7. And queen, what about just queen b6 here? Takes knight d7. Oh. So if I play check, I'm not sure the check does much. G4, that's queen e5, if d5. So maybe, maybe g4 could cause a bit of panic. Mind you, there's knight d7, queen h8, queen h8. Uh, okay, so queen, what about queen d8? Alright, so g5 might provide g6. Actually, at least the bishops also extend the g5 knight e6 though. g6, it's not too. knight e6 is going to be a pain. queen b6 here? Oh, it's not particularly. I think h4 just to. G, g5 takes, takes the queen h7. Interesting. How does he stop h7? Okay, let's try that. Takes. Oh, it's giving me e7 coordination. Knight six, queen e7. Bit of pressure. Right, I'm on the a pawn now. And on e4, I've fought two pawns. Okay. So queen e4. Let's put this guy back, I think. It's just take and take on e4. One minute. So queen e4, bishop f4, queen e4. Otherwise queen e4. What is, isn't queen e4 more important to take first? Otherwise these pawns are getting really dangerous. So if I did play queen e4... So knight f4 and take and play queen e4. If I take on e4, there's queen f5. I take on d4 first to avoid queen f5, queen exchange. Queen f5 is, is bad, I think, so I'm going to take. I can't see anything else. So he's got the double pawns anyway, a bit short on time. If he loses a6, oh, he's got that's too strong that that pawn over there. So queen f3 for a moment. I take on d6. Hang on, take on d6 here. He wants to draw here, but perpetual. I just play here for a sec. I'm on d6, 18 seconds. How does he defend d6? I just play queen b6 here. Pawn's quite advanced. Ah, oh, protect that. It's getting a bit desperate with the checks. It is a draw, isn't it? <sighs> anyway, good games. Uh, exciting. Close to the uh, bone. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.